Promoting price stability is a usual goal among central banks. There is price stability when the general price level of goods and services in the country moves at a low and predictable rate, thus preserving the value of your money. Conversely, when prices rise substantially and unpredictably, your money buys fewer goods and services. Here in the Philippines, the Banco Central ng Pilipinas or BSP, the country's monetary authority, is tasked to promote price stability conducive to a balanced and sustainable growth of the economy. Monetary policy refers to the BSP's decisions and actions geared to meet its primary objective, to promote stable prices that could support economic growth. The transmission of monetary policy refers to the process through which changes in the BSP stands, mainly through its policy rate, work their way through the economy by influencing the demand for goods and services, and ultimately, inflation. In the Philippines, monetary policy is transmitted through several channels. Interest rate, credit, exchange rate, wealth, and expectations. A change in the BSP's policy rate generally leads to adjustments in market interest rates in the same direction. An increase will discourage loan applications to finance investments and consumption, and so will moderate demand inflation. A decrease will stimulate demand. An increase in the BSP's policy rate increases the cost of borrowing. Borrowers will have higher interest expense and lower net worth, which will moderate demand and inflation. An increase in the BSP's policy rate, which will also increase market interest rates in the Philippines compared with other countries, all else being equal, will make it more attractive to hold peso-denominated assets to earn higher returns. This will encourage capital inflows and make the peso appreciate. A strong peso makes domestic goods more expensive than foreign goods, thus slowing demand for goods produced locally. The decline in the overall level of demand for goods produced in the Philippines and cheaper imported goods due to a peso appreciation will moderate inflation. Any change in the BSP's policy rate affects the prices of assets such as stocks and real estate. An increase in the BSP's policy rate will reduce the present value of future income from these assets and their prices go down accordingly. Lower asset prices reduce the wealth of owners, which will moderate demand and inflation. An adjustment in the BSP's policy rate influences inflation expectations, which in turn guide businesses in setting prices and workers in negotiating wages. If the BSP is perceived to have the will and capacity to promote price stability, an increase in its policy rate will be seen as a signal that it is managing inflation. Inflation expectations will then moderate toward the inflation target. Any change in the PSP's policy rate, which is transmitted through various channels, takes one to two years before it is fully felt across the economy. Therefore, the BSP looks at inflation forecasts in the next two years and takes action now, if needed, to meet the inflation target for the said period.